What's going on guys? My name is Albert and today's main video is going to be a woman breaking her celibacy, but she wants to break her celibacy in the most extravagant, most degenerous type of way. Okay guys, but before we get into that main clip, we're going to talk about two other clips that are very important for us to learn from. If you guys have not already asked, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. So you don't miss any of my future videos. Do not forget to hit this video with a like. It really helps the channel grow and I will personally appreciate it. Guys, let me know what you guys think of the clips. Let's jump right into the first clip. I don't understand today's dating world. Hmm. I take girls on nice dates. Okay. I get them flowers. I'm emotionally available. I go to the gym. It doesn't matter what I do. And yet every time I get the same outcome. Mm. I constantly get ghosted. I get, I'm not feeling it. I get, I'm not ready for a relationship yet. They get in one a week later mm. and then to top it off, I get, you're too nice of a guy. Like the f you want from me. Oh, and that's not even the worst. What is up with everyone thinking they're on the bachelor? Like people are talking to 10 people and I can't even get a hug. I feel for this guy. I. I don't only sympathize with him, I also empathize with him because when I was younger, I was in that position. And I can tell that he's a young man coming up. And my advice to him is you need to stop being nice. You are, I understand, you know, he has a level of frustration and that is what he's venting in the video. But there are, as much as he wants to be frustrated, he has to understand that now he is in a different ball game. I had to understand this coming up. When I was young, I used to take girls out on dates, night, be nice to them, give them compliments, buy them roses. Everything I had heard on the media, I had, I had a blue pill mindset, just like how this guy has. And as you can see from the, from the video, the guy's not a bad looking guy, tall. He looks tall in the video, but yet he's not getting the outcomes that he, that he wants. If you are not getting the outcomes that you want out of life, no matter what it, the actions that you're taking, it means that the actions that you're taking are actually counterproductive to getting the outcomes that you want. It's not his fault that he believes that, you know, being nice and buying girls flowers should work. It should work in a real world, in a normal, healthy society that should work. Being nice to somebody, being kind to somebody, buying flowers, doing a kind gesture for your, I guess, betrothed or not betrothed, but being nice to a lady, a woman should earn you some brownie points. But this is not the kind of world that we live in. We live in a world where it's just, it's honestly, it's just cutthroat. It is cutthroat. And the more selfish that you are, the better your results will be with women. It's just, that's just how it is. You have to make a woman earn your affection in today's world. You have to make her fight for you. If you do things for women, just out of the kindness of your heart, they're not going to appreciate it. It's sad to say, but this is how it is. The only people that tend to appreciate things that you do in some cases, not all, but in some cases, the only people that appreciate the only women that will appreciate your kindness in some cases, again, are your girlfriend and sometimes your wife. Now, this is not the, this is not always the case, but in majority of the cases, when you buy flowers for your wife or you buy flowers for your girl, they will appreciate it. Why? Because they have earned it because they have worked for it. A woman that you just met on a date and you bring her flowers and you're taking her to an expensive restaurant thinking that you're gonna impress her, those things do not impress her. Why? Because she has not earned it from you. She has not, she doesn't deserve it from you. She might think she deserves it, but if you do it for her, her internal response to you will be, ah, he's easy, he's easy. She's gonna lose attraction for you. Is anybody else having a hard time finding somebody to sleep with? Damn. It has been a long eight months, honey. Nine months, I think. Last time I had sex was the night before Thanksgiving. So that is November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Eight months of nothing. 
And now I have this beautiful apartment. And I just want someone to come over and snuggle with me and lay on the couch and play with my hair and possibly. But I hate men and I give no one a chance. Literally, I talk to someone for like a day and I'm like, ew, you don't deserve my body. You don't deserve these great. You don't deserve this. And then like I leave them alone and I ghost them. And then it's my fault. I'm the bad guy. When in actuality, like I am lonely and I'm sad and I want to be held at night, but I cannot stand men. Or women for that matter. Now I have to go to work. <laughs> like he, my car's not even starting. <laughs> Great. I think it's incredible that we've come to a point in society where it is okay for women to just go online and say that they hate men. It, it to me, I find it just in, like incredible. Like it's just, it just rolls off the tongue. You you just saw how she she said it. It just rolled off the tongue like nothing. Okay, I I I hate men and just kept on going with her statements. But that's that's a whole nother topic for another time. This woman is a prime example of a born again virgin do you ever notice do you ever notice that it's only women that have actually hit the wall that are like now on this like celibacy journey you're like oh okay i'm gonna be a, i'm gonna be celibate now why 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 weren't you celibate when you were younger so you could find the man that you want to be with and the man that you want to be with would be there when you want to cuddle and you know do all the i guess nasty things that you want to do but here's the thing with women like this they have wasted their youth they've wasted their their um i guess their youthful years and then now they have got a, they've come to a position where it's like every guy has popped and dumped them that's why she's going on a celibacy journey no woman that has had healthy relationship all of a sudden just goes on a celibacy journey. No, it's because all the guys that she's chosen, bad of course, right? Because if they weren't bad, she would still be with them, have pumped and dumped her. The lies that society have told her, hey, you know what? Be a 304, have a 304 summer and you know, your life is gonna be great. The only people that benefited from that were the bad boys with the Chads, with the Tyrones. And then she realizes, wait a minute, all these guys are actually getting their rocks off and I'm not really getting what I want, which is for her, a guy that she can actually cuddle with, a guy that she can actually be vulnerable with, a guy that comes over, hugs, and you know, cuddles with her in the next to the fireplace during winter time. You know, she now understands when she's hit the wall, when she's hit the wall that now, you know what? Maybe it's not a good idea to throw around my cooch all, all around town and just have guys just running through me and, and then not having genuine connection with any of them. Now she wants to go on a nine month celibacy and then complain that she can't find any good guys because now she, 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 she can probably identify what a good, healthy person is. It's sad, but that's the bed that she's made. So today makes three months since I've been celibate and I've been going through it. Like I just know I'm gonna act so bad after I break this little hiatus. I think I'm gonna get a train ran on me, to be honest. Man, I have to say something, man. Like, it's funny how she's like, after three months, she wants to get ran through. She wants a train to be ran on her. Insane. How, how have we come to a point in society where women are comfortable saying such things on camera? It's insane. To, like for me, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I remember back in the day, women would be like timid to tell you, oh, you know, they, you know, they're not a virgin. Now people are just online. Women are just online. Oh, I need a train ran on me. I've been celebrating for three months. Again, another woman that has hit, hit the wall. Oh, I've been celebrating for three months and I need a train to be right on me. Here's what's crazy. She's not saying I need, oh man. She's not saying after three months, I need to find a man to settle down with so that me and him, so that her and that man can have a, a intimate fantasy of sexual exploration. No, I don't want that. I want what she wants is 
a bunch of guys running through her. That is the society that we have come to. That is the society that we have right now. That women are online talking about, I want a bunch of guys to run through me. Instead of, I want to meet a guy that I can have a genuine connection and build a long lasting life with. It's sad. It is a sad, sad, it's a sad, sad sight. The same one is going to make a video down the road talking about how men ain't this, men ain't that, men are trash. There are no good men around. It's funny because these types of women don't realize that they themselves are no good. And that is why they can't find good men. Because like I always say, quality people want to spend time with quality people. Me, if I see a woman that is trash, I will not deal with her. If I see a woman that I feel is of quality, I will deal with her. Why? Because she's going to realize that I'm quality and I'm going to realize that she's quality. But women like this, women like this is why I always tell you guys, you have to vet the women that you're dating. When you are on a date with a woman, when you're dealing with a woman, you have to do something very important. You have to listen, listen to them. Because nowadays women will tell you things like this. Women will tell you things like this ver verbatim. That's why I say, guys, when you're dealing with women, allow them to, to talk. Because most of the time, they are going to talk themselves out of a relationship. They're going to tell you exactly what kind of person they are. And when someone tells you what kind of person they are, you as a man have to go, you know what? I don't see that person that has a good fit for my life. And at that point, you need to cut that person out of your life. Guys, that is the video for today. If you have not already got to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let me know what you guys think about the clips in the comment section below. I love interacting with you guys. Do not forget to hit this video with a like. I would really appreciate it. Also, it helps the channel grow. If you guys want my advice, if you guys need a one-on-one -on -one talking with me, my email is in the description box below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.